hello 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 welcome back um guys we just made the letterbox and now it's time to make the album and i decided to go this size and the size is a seven by eight so we're gonna do we're gonna cut two times seven by eight inch and for the uh, in centimeters the 17.8 by 20.3 centimeters and for the spine we're gonna do an eight by three inches one piece of course and then that's a 20.3 by seven and a half centimeters okay so i'm gonna cut that out on these two chipboard pieces um, I can use my cutter of course but I also can use just my ruler and knife here we go a 7 by 8 album that is nice a nice size I think yep and then this for the spine. For the spine. And then our next one. And I'm still going to use the one millimeter chipboard. That works fine by me. And then these are the leftover pieces. You never know where you can use them for, for swing tabs or whatever kind. So I'm just going to leave that right here. And then here we have our cover chipboard. There we go. That's that. Yep. Let's attach them. Yay! So once one more time. Um, the size is 7 by 8 inch or 17.8 by 20.3 centimeters. And the spine is 8 by 3 inch and uh, 20.3 by 7.5 centimeters. Okay, guys, write that down. I will add these on my list so let's make the cover super excited okay so i like to use paper to do this and just place them here so you will have about one inch extra so i like to eyeball it and we need to attach i think one more I think this is not enough to add. Definitely not. So we need three pieces. So I'm going to cut these. There we go. And I first go attach these two. There you go. And I'm going to attach. Well, let me check. If I put this in the middle, then this will not be fitting. But I definitely don't want that um, this attachment is near this, these two connections. So I am moving this to the left. So it means that I definitely am going to add one more.
go. So here are my two attachments. So I think I'm just going to place this in the middle. So my attachments are somewhere here. Okay, so nearly far away from these two gaps. Okay, so that is how it should be. You definitely don't want these attachments near these two gaps. Because then your album is not working correctly with the folds and everything. Okay, nicely in the middle, up and above. Okay, how much do you want to keep away from this? Um, well, the chipboard is smaller than I normally do. So I'm just going to stay away 2 to 3 millimeter away from the edges. That will do. There you go. So again with this one, stay away, two to three millimeters away, and place it down. There you go. Just turn it over and burnish it down. This is too long of course, so we are going to cut that down. So I also have a one inch on here and a one inch on here. Okay, so what's next? Okay, so let's do the corners first and there are ways. Um, you have tools for those, or you just can use your scissor. But I like to stay away two millimeters away um, from the corner. So I'm just gonna use my scissor, and then I just go do that. You also can cut it completely, but I like I like it to do it this way. So my first cut is staying away two millimeters away. And then the rest will comes. So till the corner, two millimeters away. Okay, and then this, yeah. I don't like these too uh, tight because, yeah, I don't know. I like it this way. <laughs> okay, so next what I like to do is put some tape. White here all the way around and 
slide here. Okay, now where I like to start is in the middle. And I'm just going to use my fingers to make sure that the fold is nicely attached to that chipboard. And when that is done, I will take off my tape. some glue against the chipboard and then at the top there you go let's start again in the middle and just work your way to the ends there you go then use your bone folder Start in the middle, push it against the chipboard. You can use your bone folder also for this, but I like to feel. There we go. Now let's go to the sideways. Here we go. Now you will have this overlap a little bit, but you are just going to squeeze that down, or you just can go around it and then squeeze it down. Either way, it needs to be flat. Okay, let's do this again. Board and then again start in the middle. Balance it down. Make sure all the glue is out. You can use a tissue to remove the remain glue. If there is a tiny little bit sticking out, you just can cut it off. There you go, and then you have a nice pointy edge. Perfect. Burnish it down. There you go. Then what I like to do is just grab your album and then just use your bone folder to 
to softly make those papers against the sides of your chipboard. There we go. And we just squeeze this in and fold it double. So I also can do it this way. Go the other side, and there you go. Your cover is done. Let's check, check, check if it's nice fitting in our letter box. It's supposed to be fitting, and otherwise, I did not measure correctly, and it fits nicely. So, yep, I did not do it too tight because otherwise it will be not easy to get it in and get it out. I also did not over hide this. I could made it larger, but I didn't. Um, because I still want to have some room. Now you still can add your cards in here. Even if the now the album is inside, so it's a nice fit, and a seven by eight is perfect to me. Okay, so cover is done. What shall we do on the outside? Because yes, I am gonna cover it up already. So what shall we do? Now I have been thinking. I am thinking because we did use the rat on the outside. What is, and this is what I have left for my first set, but of course I just can grab my next set, which I already used the red one. So we also can use to combine. Let's see what we have. Plenty, but I think I would love to go with a. I think I'm just gonna go with the leftovers right here because those are here, and I think I can manage that. So I will keep this away for now because I do love it. So, um, what shall we do? Um, boom, boom, boom. We can do a nice green one. Still looking at my leather box, how it looks. Well, it's pretty red, red and brown. So, I can go for this. As an as an underground. And maybe this for the spine or something that overlaps it a little bit. And then I always can decorate with something. I also can keep it, keep it calm and then do some images on it. That also would be amazing. Let's see? That really calms it down more than if I use this paper. What do you say? Or maybe even this one. We'll do the trick also. Just for example. But I think I like the brown one. What's, what kind of ribbons are we having? 
And then I also can do that. Oh, yes, with the red. Yep, absolutely stunning. Yes, 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 yes. I always like to <laughs> show you a little bit how I think um, to to use my papers. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely go and go for these ones. And then decorate with some ribbons and everything. So the red definitely will come back. Okay, so this is easy going. So we can split this in two, I guess. What if I split this in two? Oh yeah, that's plenty. Plenty, plenty. Yes, okay, I'm gonna split this in two. Here we go. actually so strange that it's 30 degrees outside and I'm working on Christmas papers. <laughs> it's strange, but fun. Definitely. Do like the dark one on here. So let me ink that up. You know I like to smooch my edges. And then the other corners are not necessary because they are going to overlap, I guess. Well, they are. So that is not needed. Alright, glue this down, 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 down. Here we go. Well, normally I would do this for the last. And I normally start with the pages, but now I do know already what sizes I want so we're just going to have to deal with that because we can of course we can deal with that There we go. Now let's see, what can we do for the spine? Um, yeah, I definitely we're gonna do um, this, I guess, but, 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 but. Um, I also wanna see if I can use some bookbinders linen. So let me check for a second. Okay guys, I'm gonna use the black leather look bookbinders linen, so I still can add papers on, and I still, 
have the insurance that the spine will not crack but actually it does not but just in case I always um, just in case so I am gonna cut my book binders linen five and a half by yeah, I guess eight away but actually these are absolutely stunning to make little belts with so don't throw it away okay so we have a five and a half by eight book binder linen and we're gonna add that nicely with some tape and glue and everything Okay, so that is done. Nice. Now I am gonna use this. It's not nice to do it this way, does it? No. So. See how the best way I'll think just along these flowery things. Definitely needs a little shorter. And as you can see, I cut more in these than here. this in half for the flowery things like this so it's more equal than I think yeah this is better this is better okay let's smooch the edges and put it on okay great that is on let's see what's in this bag we have quite a lot love this one smaller one wow i must say definitely love this one to bring back the rat like it um this one like this one brings back the cream color these ones are perfect for tags that's why i added some smaller ones six millimeter ones so that i don't want to use for the cover I don't have to go all three of them, but we have the green. If 
for this. I do like this. It really pops it up. Okay, so let's check it out. What if we do? Okay, cut these a little longer. One mil well, not one millimeter, one inch longer than the cover is. Okay, put these away or in a basket somewhere. All right, let's check it out. Now, for this one, I like this to overlap just a little tiny bit. I don't want to see the black. Okay. Then I guess I want this at the top. And then this... A little bit over, and this also a little over. So that's the perfect thing for me. Now, where do I need to put this? Well, you also can put these together. Well, I don't think that's that's handy. No, wait just a sec. Okay, so this one overlaps here. Just a tiny little bit, make a mark. Okay, and then this also overlaps a little, tiny bit. Comes till here. And then this overlaps a bit. So I need to start here. That means that it's it's a 316 away from the spine. I can make a mark so I am nice and straight. Because we do want to be nice and straight. Okay, there is where I'm going to start my first one. Check, check, check. Always double check. Here. And this overlaps till that brown one. So I can keep it straight with this one also. And then the red one. Yep. Yep, that will do it. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I was thinking. Let me use a smaller one so the glue is also nice. To attach. Because I definitely also want to use glue. Here we go. Just in case. Also a little on the book binders linen. Okay. There we go. That's one. So right along, I'm just gonna put Tape. 
and glue. And a little on the book binder's linen. There we go. So I'm gonna overlap this just a tiny little bit. I think half of the dark square one. Again, one piece of tape, and this is just how I do it, guys. But if you, you can do, of course, your own method. But this is how I do it. This is how I do it, baby. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Who are those Mexican boys? Some kind of boy band. Love it. Okay, last piece of glue. Definitely also a little on the paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also just just a little overlapping, just a little, push it down, let the glue into your lace, oh, it's a marvelous color of lace, love it. Okay, and then you can just take these loose. I'll wrap it. that I did not put enough glue here but I always can go back just a little bit but for now I will leave it I'll let it dry so I know for the next one that I need to add a little glue on here also I forgot but this looks nice, isn't it? For example, oh, this is so cute. This is just an example, guys. If I would do that, then I just would cut these out. But it's so cute. It's so cute, cute, cute. Okay, I'm gonna do the other part. Um, same thing, exactly the same thing. Stay away. What was it? 3 16th? Yep, 3.16. Make a few marks. And let's do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. I punched in um, these nice bulky Rats, and I think it fits marvelous to bring back a little bit that steampunk vibe. So what I did was I just made a template, and I'm gonna make that one together with you. 
So I'm just going to cut a one inch piece of paper and by eight. Now I'm just going to measure this one because this is an eight. <laughs> and I am also going to score a fold line so I know that I am straight. There you go. And then I'm just going to grab my ruler. Place that under. So my first mark will be the four. And the three fourth on this side. And then I'm just going to place these in the middle. Let's say here. That's the middle. And then the same thing with this one. Here is the middle. Then I just punched the holes in here. Is ready. And then I'm just going to put that here on, and you will see that if you just place this on here, if you see half brown, half white, then you are perfect to go. And there you go. Punch some holes in and put your boards in. Yeah. Let's do one together. And then we are just going to open these. Make sure they are nice and tight. And you also can use your ruler to do this, of course. Just punch this nice and tight. There you go. Nice and flat. Yes, I like it. Brings back a little bit of steampunk vibe, don't you think? I love it. Okay, now as you can see, I already cut one sheet out of these. Um, they are so adorable. So even if you don't like the cards, you still can use these to cut out. But look how cute this is. It's so funny. I absolutely love it. Okay, cool. But let me first do the inside. 
we're gonna put some black papers on the inside and then we finally can go start the pages yay that will be after the weekend i guess because it's getting late this week all right so grab some black papers okay so i make a mark right here and then this is going to be overlapping but i think i like to have this in the middle so i made my mark in the middle of the spine so let's cut first one i can cut two first the length This is one, and this is the other one, so it overlaps nicely in the middle. Okay, put these on um, with everything you want. If you want using tape or glue, it's your decision. I like to have um, some tape on the edges, and then the rest I'm just going to use glue. But the edges, I definitely want these to be nice and tight. So that is what I'm going to do. Add some tape all the way around. Still gonna use glue on my tape. Oh, and I forgot something. I forgot to put some tape on the on the opening. Let's see if I can go and do that real quickly. I definitely want to have tape here as well here we go and here we go and now it's just the meaning of going sit down This needs a long burn, especially with these thickness. And all these boards and everything, but we can do it. Just take your time. Ribbons. 
there you go. I'm not going to fold just yet. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to do exactly the same on this side. Don't forget to put some tape on. <laughs> put some tape on. Yep. If it's dry, just going to smoothly with my bone fold, we'll go inside. Till the papers are going in. Now you still can bend it. And this here is normal. It is normal, but what I like to do, to put something on, so I know if I come back tomorrow, that it's still nice. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on here. Smoothly inside and bent and then put a clamp on these little guys so that can dry a little bit better and it's not that bad at all right now but I want to have this better Okay, squeeze your spine a little bit, and then you're good to go. So I'm going to let this dry overnight, and then um, we'll come back. Yay! Okay, cool. So in the meantime, um, I can think about the pages, and how many, and what activity we want, but yep. That's for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.